Is Algorand the coin of world domination? <laughs> well, a video, a recent video from Altcoin Daily, who I love, by the way, came out with a video that kind of makes that argument. And some stuff that happened this week kind of lends some credence to it. So we're going to look at that video and we're going to react to it. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on today's Frugal VC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, we are looking at a video from Altcoin Daily. It is called, let me pull it up here, Three Altcoins Set to Explode in the Event of the Great Reset. So we're talking about if, uh, you know, the World Economic Forum thumbnail of the video has Hillary Clinton and Bill Gates and that Klaus fellow on the, on the front. So he doesn't, he teases it. He says three altcoins. He doesn't say Algorand, but Algorand is one of them. We're going to look at that. And another coin that we follow is also on there. You have to watch the whole video to see what that is. And we're going to talk about that as well. Guys, if you, don't, if you like this, this type of content, please hit the like button. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, I do these reaction videos primarily to... Uh, well, I think it's fun to do, but also like it gets me to a new audience. But my main focus of the channel is doing experiments in crypto and letting you know how they go. So we give you the good, bad and the ugly. No hype on this channel. And today, but today we're doing a reaction video. We do. I try to do one of these probably about once a month just to uh, kind of grow my audience so I can show more people my experiments. Well, let's take a look at this video because I think this is really interesting. So if and when the Great Reset does happen, are you prepared for it? Will the altcoins that you hold be able to survive? Some will, some won't. People say sometimes, yes, it's a digital revolution. No, it's not just a digital revolution. It is many other areas. It's brain research, nanotechnology, and I could go on and on. In fact, what altcoins have a better chance of being able to survive the Great Reset? Comment an altcoin you think will be able to survive the Great Reset. Give this video a like and let me share with you four altcoins with ties to the global elites. Algorand, insanely strong ties to global elites. Gary Gensler, the current SEC chair, endorses Algorand. He says you can build Uber on top of it. Gary likes that Algorand's founder is from MIT. Algorand even being an MIT award winner. Governance is tough. You could create Uber or Lyft on top of a blockchain technology today. Uh, well, maybe in five years you could. It would be have the performance. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Sylvia's got a great technology that has the performance. You could create Uber on top of it. And it's common knowledge that Gary Gensler and the SEC goes just a little bit easier on people and companies whom they have relationships with. Which, you know, not a bad thing. I, I, this is one of the things that I've always sold about Algorand is that Silvio Macaulay is no lightweight in this industry. In fact, he's one of the few people, the one of the few people mentioned in the Bitcoin white paper. He's considered the father of modern cryptography. Like they said, he's a Turing Award winner, which is a very big deal in science and technology. Uh, considered the godfather of modern cryptography. So the fact that he's the guy who created Algorand tells you like the technology is solid. I had the pleasure to hear him speak at Decipher. It was one of the highlights of going to Decipher. You know, I also, I also heard like the foundation people speak and, you know, some of the technology people. And it was like, okay, but uh, there's something different when you hear someone whose intelligence is that at that level speak. It's, yeah, it's, it's something else. It's kind of like, kind of like seeing your favorite band you know at the height of their at the height of their musical prowess it, that's kind of what it's like um I, I was really really impressed that was absolutely one of the big highlights of decipher so definitely not a bad thing is that it is that all algorand is working with the clinton foundation they just dotted the i's and crossed the t's on this partnership algorand working with the clinton foundation and its clinton global initiative to help with climate change. How dare you? Algorand is a technology partner for a new 50 million global climate finance fund launched by the Clinton Foundation and its Clinton Global Initiative. The fund is geared towards helping women micro entrepreneurs address climate change. Say what you want about the Clinton Foundation, but the Clintons are powerful people. It has to be a very strategic move for Algorand to do this. If the worst happens, 
Algorand is going to be connected. Yeah, so I mean, you can see why they, they make a good point about why Algorand could be set up in, in a high regulatory environment. And as, uh, having having those connections to the elite is probably kind of the antithesis of crypto in a lot of ways. But you have to admit, it also sets up Algorand pretty well to be used now. I like Algorand because it's so easy to use. Uh, the transaction fees are extremely low, fast, you know, finality under four seconds. I know there are, it's not the fastest, but it's pretty fast and cheap and very scalable. They're, they're doing a lot. It's pretty developer friendly, but I think the introduction of AlgoKit and some of the integrations with some of the, some of the game engines will make it a lot more user friendly, um, a lot more user friendly for developers. They're talking with Unity and Unreal Engine. If you know Unity, it's like the, it's like a lot of the blockchain games you play are built on Unity. Some are some are not. Some are based on other. And then of course Unreal Engine is like a pretty common engine used in in. Triple A games, and what they're working on is having Algorand basically be an option within those within those engines. So we get these we get these news events, and you think, okay, cool, it's going to pump the price of the coin. But I think I think the bigger issue to me is, you know, when I went to Decipher, it was amazing thing how many companies there are building on Algorand, and then you think like you think that's just Algorand. I mean, there were hundreds of developers there, and then you think of that's just Algorand. Think of that combined with all the other all the other blockchains, like that's a lot of developers working in the Web3 space. Let's take a look at the rest of the video because there's another coin on here. Hedera Hashgraph is slowly putting together a council of global elites, as in the people, the companies that literally run the world, to position Hedera in a league of their own in a direction different from what much of the rest of the cryptocurrency space is doing. Hedera Hashgraph is governed by a body known as Hedera Governing Council, which is charged with running the consensus nodes that determine transaction ordering. So they run the whole thing. They control the whole operation. As of 2020, a total of 39 members sit on the council, including Google, IBM, Boeing. And let me just say, They've been quietly beefing up their council since 2020. The original 39 members, although impressive, Google, IBM, Boeing, still on the council today, still impressive. Where the council is today, it's just orders of magnitude where it was. And it seems like nobody knows about this because the council's role is to manage the software, voting on changes and ensuring funds are allocated and safeguarding the network's legal status in various jurisdictions. Very recent news, Dell, as in dude, I'm getting a Dell, has joined the Hedera governing council. Now you might think, uh, okay, well, Dell just makes the personal computers. Is that a big deal? But what you don't know is that Dell manufactures a lot of infrastructure and plumbing that runs the internet. Do you understand? Hedera is aligning themselves with the people that run the internet. That's really, that's really huge. Uh, I talked about this on the channel earlier this week. I got a video on that. So it was one of my, I did two videos in one day, which is rare for me because it's pretty hard because I also have a full-time job, but I got Algorand, Algorand's news with India and with the Clinton Foundation. And then I also did one on HBAR with their new Dell partnership because that's that's really big. That's a big deal. They keep adding these like really well-known, like I said, Google, um, I said LG, IBM, Boeing, Standard Bank, Deutsche Telekom, which is actually pretty big. Um, we don't know much about them around here. There's other ones I don't I don't really know. I don't know Eftpas or Nomura or Magalu. Megalu, I don't, so I don't know all these. Some of these are names I just don't recognize, but there's some pretty big ones on there, so. Listen to Dell talk about this and why they chose Hedera. So not only do we make, you know, the highly visible consumer products, but Dell also manufactures a lot of the infrastructure and data protection plumbing that runs uh, the internet, basically. And so what made you decide, you know, hey, this is the time for us to join the governing council of a blockchain? Well, I think there's two reasons, really, Zenobia. The first one is, as I mentioned, um, we have a lot of infrastructure products and our customers are increasingly moving from centralizing them in one location to distributing them across multiple locations, whether it's multi-cloud or whether it's edge. So we believe that a, a distributed ledger 
will be a, uh, a critical part of the architecture for edge computing. Uh, we need some sort of a trusted, multi-party way to communicate business transactions. And so Dell is increasingly in exploring distributed ledger technology and Hedera has that enterprise focus that we really liked. Yeah, so I won't tell you what the third coin is. I'll make you go and watch that yourself. And you can go do, watch that video because I think it's I think it's a good video. You should watch it at home. But I do want to say that I think I think those are the first two, Algorand and Hedera Hashgraph, are both two coins that I, I cover on this channel because I think they're great projects for different reasons. Um, Algorand I like because I like using the ecosystem. When I first got into DeFi, I tried stuff like that was based on Ethereum and Compound, and it was just incredibly expensive. It's like one little mistake, and you're out like a bunch of money. Algorand just works so much better on all fronts. Most of the projects I would try out, like they're actually user-friendly. You can understand them. Now, I tend to criticize them. Like I said, I do the experiment and I tell you the good and bad and everything in between. So you definitely get the stuff where I'm like, no, this is <laughs> this needs to be fixed or that needs to be fixed. But overall, it's generally pretty user-friendly. Like the wallet is actually like my algo or para. Both are really user-friendly, whereas like something like MetaMask, I just can't stand. It's just the antithesis of good UI design. And so, so I'm big on that. Hedera I'm big on because, A, it's a great price mover. I mean, it's just proven to have really good price action. So I think it's going to be a great buy for the, the bull market, or the bull market coming up, not uh, hashtag not financial advice, of course. And I just like what it's doing. I like that it's bringing, it seems to be embraced by these big players where crypto otherwise, they've kind of like waded into it, but all these big players are involved with Hashgraph. They, they, they clearly see something they like in the hash graph versus the blockchain. I don't know fully what it is, but they really like that they're basically building, like you said, Dell's like building the plumbing of the internet and thinks that Hedera would be a great partner for that. So that's my thoughts on that. Go watch the video, the full video, because Allcoin Daily does great stuff. I'm a big fan of Allcoin Daily. So check out their stuff. And if you want to see more of my stuff too, got plenty, plenty of videos on Algorand, tons of videos on Algorand if you're interested in exploring the ecosystem. Uh, it's starting to get more on HBAR, but uh, I admit, admit it's pretty new to me on HBAR. Also, near Protocol is one of my favorites, not mentioned in that video, but I think it's a great altcoin. And uh, I'm going to be having a video, eight altcoins to buy for the bull market. So keep an eye out for that one. That will be coming up soon. Otherwise, uh, I'm Frugal BC, BC. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, you don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. And remember, not your keys, not your crypto, guys. Keep your stuff off exchanges because it's just not safe. Uh, get, if, if, anytime you can get private wallets or even Ledger, I got a link down below for Ledger. Uh, that stuff will help keep your crypto safe. And that's really important because, you know, Celsius, Voyager, all these guys. And hey, I lost a little bit in Celsius myself. So I, I empathize. Get your stuff off exchanges. Stay safe out there. I'm Frugal BC. And as always, I will see you in the future.